When news of John Farnham's mouth cancer broke over two years ago, all Australians were left stunned. Today, thankfully, the news is much better. Whispering Jack is now well enough to get back behind the microphone and voice his own story. I think this will be really special for Farnham fans. Yeah, it was such a, a beautiful experience working with John. It really hammers home to me what an icon he is and what a legend he is. The voice is speaking for the first time since cancer surgery and two of John Farnham's dearest bandmates are hearing it with the rest of us. I don't enjoy talking about myself, I really don't. Don't get me wrong, I'm an egomaniac, but dredging up the past and thinking through what has and hasn't been, it's just not something I've ever really enjoyed. Farnham band leader Chong Lim and backup singer Lisa Edwards reacting to John's latest recording. John Farnham recorded one of his last albums in this very studio and he's been back behind the microphone. He's not making music this time, he's recording the audiobook of his upcoming autobiography. That studio belongs to Chong Lim, who for 30 years has guided John and the Farnham Band on sellout tour after sellout tour. Well, Chongy, great to see you again. Good to see you, Seb. But every time we catch up, it's a, another milestone in the Farnham journey. When you think about the long association you've had with John, what does it bring up for you? Well, happy memories only, I'm, I'm afraid. No scoop there. <laughs> and I just. You, you don't miss those days a lot. It's incredible. I, I, I feel very lucky. John Farnham, The Voice Inside, will be released across the country at the end of the month. But news a short clip from the audiobook was being released today put a smile on the face of Farnham band member Lisa Edwards. John, we love you. <laughs> and we are still here with you and we are all behind you. Jane Gazzo wrote the last published biography on John Farnham and feels that John recording the new audiobook indicates his recovery is going well. I think it shows John's strength and resilience, the fact that he's voiced this uh, particular biography. Uh, and it must have been quite difficult at times, you know. I, I'm sure having undergone the surgery that he's, that he's gone through, uh, it hasn't been easy. So what did John's mates make of hearing the voice again? Have you heard this yet? No. No. Truthfully, I haven't. Do you mind if we listen together? No. I'll try to share as much as I can, but that's not easy because I've never really been that open. I guess there are reasons for that, reasons for my reluctance. It's very emotional, you know. It's great to hear his golden tonsils again, but uh, I, I feel he's got his spirit back. I hear his sense of humour still, which is beautiful. And... Uh, it was just really beautiful to hear his voice. I'm getting a bit teared up. Um, I wear my heart on my sleeve and, uh, you know, uh, uh, we all love John, Australia lo and the world loves John. Yeah, we do all love John. How wonderful his recovery is going so well and he might not like talking about himself, but gee, it's great to hear from him.